Hmm. Summon Arvac. Let's go. If you got any grimes, check in at Morbane Manor. Second counselor around. Let's go, Arvac. Yeah, now we're below 400 with our inventory. That's much better. Much, much better. Let's go and sneak. Uh, I'm going to put Spur Breaker back on 8. Go away. Ah, I was about to sneak. Oh, well. Thank you very much. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourselves for an ambush. Whatever. Fort Frostmark will never fall. Long live the Empire! My dude, you've been dead for 200 years. You have nothing to say about this. I'm guessing there's one of the, uh, uh, whatever they were called, Inquisitors, I think, who can chuck fireballs at me. Yeah. Okay, let's take care of you first. Give me your soul while you're at it. Thank you. Uh, 
Alright, so ebony or iron ore. Oh! You're also throwing fireballs. Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot to do my level up, right? Um, health. Always take my health. Um, trap this one as well we have so many gemstones that we need to fill okay this doesn't actually have anything important Let's go back into the fort. And see if we can find this dude. But first we check if there's anything on the ramparts. No, okay. Uh, if that is where we are supposed to go, then we are going to check out the other one first. Oh, acquires a key. Okay, never mind. So much for sneaking. Let's go. Guess there's no point in sneaking if these guys can surprise us anyway. Uh, already know all of these. I don't think we're gonna need more leather strips for now. This is where we came in, so let's go left. We've got a sack of flour inside a sack. Okay. No, wait, I did not want that. Uh, let's drop that again. That's just way too much weight.
Uh, Daedric arrows, sure. Ebony bow, of course. We'll take that. Let's go. God, these guys are tanky. soul trapped him come on die already I don't have all day thank you That is too far. We cannot jump that. All right, we've already been in here. Extreme healing and vigorous stamina. I'll take that. Hello. Just die so I can have your soul. Thank you. Letter to Selena 4. My dearest Selena, this is my last letter. I don't know if you'll ever get any of them, but I'll keep them on me in case I'm ever found. Something happened here, Selena. It was horrible. Something's happened at the Red Mountain, but I can't describe it. It's as if, it's as if hundreds of oblivion gates opened at once at its summit, and it's spitting fire and death in all directions. Fort Frostmoth has been completely destroyed. The walls crumbled like loose dirt and the land is on fire. Everything around me smells of ash and death. I don't know where anyone is. I've been trapped in one of these lower sections of the fort and I don't expect to be rescued anytime soon. I miss you, Selena. I want to hold you and the children in my arms and tell you that everything is going to be fine. But I don't think that will ever happen. Give my love to Syracuse and Artia for me. Tell them their father died bravely defending the Empire, so they can hold their heads high when they speak of me one day. And you, my love, when you close your eyes at night, think of me so my spirit can finally come home. Yours always and forever, Maximilian Axius, third of Sunstone, fourth age, or five. Which apparently was a long time ago. He has gold. Uh, I cannot actually see his other letters. Oh, I can. A letter to Selena, one, two, and three. Let's have a look. 
My dearest Selena, it's been a difficult day. General Carey has ordered us to help the laborers shore up the walls inside since they're starting to show their age. It was back breaking work, but without the extra support, those walls wouldn't stand up to a siege. Some of the men are grumbling about the task, but I don't agree with them. The general knows what's best for Fort Frostmoff, and I would follow him to oblivion and back, if he asked. There's a supply ship due on Solstam in a few weeks, and I hope to send you all these daily letters I've been writing. I hope you enjoy reading them as much as I enjoy writing them. I miss you, Selina, and I can't wait to see you when my time on Solstam is through. Yours always. Well, that didn't end as he expected. My dearest Selina, Euphemius was killed this morning by one of those awful reeklings. We were escorting a supply wagon from Fort Frostmoth to Raven Rock when a war party of those bastards ambushed us from the cliffs. We fought them off, but poor Euphemius was impaled by one of their spears. The healers at the fort couldn't do anything for him, and I watched him slip away as I held his hand. I don't know how much longer I can stand being here. My loyalty to the Empire and the strong words of General Carius delivers to us at each morning muster are the, at each morning muster are the only things that keep me going. The supply ship should arrive tomorrow, and I promise to give the quartermaster my letters so they can finally be sent home. Give my love to the children. Yours always, Maximilian. My dearest Selina, the supply ship due in Salt's time hasn't arrived yet and no one knows what's happened to it. I'll keep writing these letters in hopes that they can be delivered to you one day. It's awful being isolated on Salt's time like this, but General Carriers keeps telling us we need to maintain Fort Frostmoth for the good of the Empire. I believe what he's saying only because he's never led us down the wrong path in the past, but I'm wondering if anyone on the Imperial Council even gives a damn about this pile of rock. Four soldiers have died in the last two years at Fort Frostmoth. It almost seems as though the Empire takes us all for granted and expects us to sit out here and get chipped away at like the rock inside the mines. My posting here can't end soon enough. Yours always, Maximilian Axios. Oh, well, your posting did end, just not the way you expected. Um, this was 200 years ago, though, so we couldn't even like hope to deliver that to his wife. Uh, Namira's route is not something we need. Oh. Okay, they already aggroed me, I guess. Yeah. Whoa! What the hell? His descendants, maybe. Those are some weird spiders. Is that an ingredient? I don't think that's an ingredient. No, it's not. Then again, you're not a postal service. Correct. Wait, is that does that count as food? No. What is that then? All. It doesn't even show up in my inventory. Oh no, there it is. Dam it's under D for damaged. Okay, well, I don't need that. I can't even soul trap the spiders. A ruby geode. We can just mine gemstones now, okay. That's new. Yeah, and this was all 200 years ago, so. That's like somewhere between seven to 10 generations, basically. Lots and lots of albino spiders here. I still don't know what exactly I, I will need the hot stone ore for, but I just assume I will need it for something at some point. I mean, it would be stupid if they give us a crafting material and then we can't do anything with it. I might actually look it up after stream, honestly. 
Also, if there's a ruby geode, it makes me wonder if there's a sapphire or emerald geode. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Okay. Well, then we go back out again. Back up to find general carriers. Oh, come on. Use the spell. Thank you. Master, okay. Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, that's a lot of wine. Flawless diamond and an elven mace, okay. So not completely useless. Um, this requires a key, okay. I'm guessing we'll get this key down here somewhere. Why do you have a bunch of coffins in this fort? Oh, hi. Okay, he actually hits pretty hard. Take an iron ingot, thank you. Don't think there's anything back here. I can search the coffins, okay. What exactly is the game expecting me to find in there? It's a coffin. Right, come on. It's loot after all, gotta get it. Yeah. Bloody rags. For it would be hilarious if we opened one of these coffins and then a vampire came out. Gold? Okay, I'll take that. Daytrix Sword of Terror, okay. Now we're talking. I'll take the Orcish Gauntlets as well. Frost Moth Key, Ring, Mora Tapinella, gladly. Eldari's Trono. Day 32. It's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general re general's remains. Crafting the hearthstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, it could be years before I make any progress. 
which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. Day 47. It finally appears that I am making some progress. After my latest experiment, Janor carries his eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first sign of progress I've seen since I've arrived here. A few of my assistants were ins insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. That sounds like a very permanent dismissal. Day 55. General Carrius awoke fully today. He bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seemed to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the heartstone before he became violent, but this isn't the result I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59. The general is still unable or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I'm a spy for the enemy, and I have had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experience with general carriers fail, I may have to resort to self-experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. Yeah, you should. You should avoid that. That is never a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the journal. Well. That sounds lovely. <laughs> 